It appears that Prince Harry was right, in effect. Prince William seemingly doesn't want to be king. And as ever, more importantly, why? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Nice to see you. Yes, that is at the side of Lambeth Palace behind me. Lovely building, isn't it, you know? I don't know about you, when I go past these buildings, I think about all the people in history that have gone through those doors, vitally important people that made decisions that changed the course of history. And we're just walking past them every day, going towards our bus stop or, you know, going to the shops or getting your sandwich for lunch, that sort of thing. History is everywhere here in London. And I know I often say this, but when you do come over, do take time to look up because the buildings here are phenomenal as they are in many places around the world I know but when you look at the architectures particularly of the Edwardian era Victorian era it truly is wonderful do take that time out and as ever it's back to your breaking ball story of the day as we all know uh, Prince Harry was very vocal about his elder brother Prince William when he sat down just a year ago now with the chat show Queen Oprah Winfrey basically stating that both he um, and of course his brother and his father Prince Charles were all trapped but the difference with him was that he wasn't trapped he was allowed to escape now, he was only allowed to escape let's be honest because he's sixth in line to the throne and of course no great use if you like to the monarchy when you think about the line of succession but more importantly for him Prince Harry really did irk a lot of people around the world when he stated that because Prince Charles has been very vocal in his dedication to service. And let's not forget, you know, he is a very kind man, uh, sticks to his principles and was right about so many things, including uh, the eco world and of course talking to plants. We all should talk to plants, shouldn't we, if you remember that. But on a serious note, he's also been very vocal about architecture and how a lot of them are carbuncles and he's right about that. But a very good source close to Prince William basically told me this about uh, the future king. And he said that indeed Prince William does not want to be king, but just yet. Let me explain. There's a big movement over here in the United Kingdom about wishing to bypass Charles and Camilla and moving straight forward to Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. Now, that would be seen, of course, as taking a younger monarchy, you know, people who they could possibly relate to. Let's not forget that Prince Charles has been the longest king in waiting for many a year. But Prince William spoke to this very good source of mine and basically said, look, he finds it really upsetting, not simply because of Prince Harry basically saying that he was trapped, because he certainly doesn't feel that. But more importantly, one of the reasons why he doesn't like this is he knows that in order to get that succession, he has to lose vital members of his family. And he finds it totally disrespectful that people are saying, oh, bypass Charles and go to William. Let's not forget our glorious majesty, the Queen, is still with us today. And more importantly, still very vital, if you like. Now, moving forward, of course, to Prince William, he does know one day that both he and Catherine will become King and Queen of the United Kingdom, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland and of course the Commonwealth. And of course he does not wish to skip a generation to make sure that his role, which has shaped of course his father's life, Prince Charles, to not be given that opportunity to put all of those years in waiting to good use. According to Prince William, Prince Charles will be an excellent King. And what better endorsement could that get? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.